I was very taken by the whole surgical experience. I loved the music, I loved the drama, and I wrote Pajama because I had a story to tell. In 2016, on a steep cross-country ski trail, my left knee locked. I suspected that psoriatic arthritis had been damaging my joints, and it dawned on me I might need a new knee. The art and medicine editor took an interest in what I had written, and he suggested a graphic story, something I had never done before. The doctor I chose for my knee replacement was the second one I consulted. He touched my knee while the first doctor had not. His touch represented caring and a human connection so important to building trust. I drew kind of succinctly what led me to Dr. Bronson, the surgeon. He has a sense of humor, but he's very serious. He always shows up at 6 a.m. for morning rounds, and you're like, really, 6 a.m.? I really recovered fast, and it gave me my life back. So I hike, I bike, I ski, I paint. The fun thing about the drawings that hang in Mount Sinai West, or people that I've shown, they tell me that it makes them less afraid of surgery. It's like it, it's kind of changed their mind about surgery. And I think that's great, because when people connect with my artwork, I feel like I've done my job. This painting is unusual because I finished it three years ago. Love nature on its own terms as well but I also like certain man-made structures in nature. I paint interesting facades. I love wires. I love the way things like go into each other and connect. I believe the definition of art is something filtered through the soul. What makes all of us unique is how we perceive the world. Just before the anesthesia knocked me out, I enjoyed the music played in the operating room, mostly 80s and 90s pop, and once a Yo-Yo Ma cello piece. Barely six months after my second knee replacement, I was back on the cross-country ski trail, handling steep hills with ease. No more lock, I was finally free.